Whatever side you take in the conflict between Serbs and Albanians in Kosovo, everyone can agree that the latest flare-up in tensions, in which NATO soldiers were injured in clashes with protesters in northern Kosovo, proves that the 1999 war against Yugoslavia and the subsequent occupation of the province of Kosovo, which has now lasted for nearly a quarter of a century, has not brought peace. On the contrary, it has left many issues unresolved and instead has created new problems. The NATO attack on Yugoslavia in 1999, an act of unprovoked aggression against a small country which did not threaten its neighbours and still less any NATO state, took a small local conflict and turned it into a much bigger one, indirectly including even Russia. Now the roots of the current conflict in Ukraine in fact go back to that war. Vladimir Putin first came to power in August 1999 in the wake of the humiliation of the Russian army which was forced to leave Kosovo by the corrupt Yeltsin leadership, even though Russian troops had seized Pristina airport while the NATO soldiers were still tying up their bootlaces. Now the latest violence took place in northern Kosovo, which has remained outside the control of Pristina and the Albanians since 1999. The Serbs there do not accept the election of Albanian mayors to their municipalities. Indeed, they never accept the 2008 Declaration of Independence of Kosovo as an independent state, in reality, Kosovo is a puppet state totally dependent on the EU and NATO. Now, the Serbs are joined in this by nearly half the world's states, including five EU states which do not recognize the Declaration of Independence of Kosovo either. Now, according to this position, the legal order in Kosovo flows not from the Albanian authorities in Pristina, but instead from the United Nations Security Council Resolution 1244, voted in June 1999 which proclaims that Kosovo remains part of Serbia, albeit under international administration. As with COVID, we now know that the whole basis for the Kosovo war was fake. Not only was there no racial persecution of Kosovo Albanians, what Tony Blair called racial genocide to justify the aggression, but in fact the Albanian side was itself guilty of atrocities. The leader of the Kosovo Liberation Army in 1999, Hashim Tachi, has been on trial for horrific war crimes since April, to the general indifference of those who glorified and supported the Albanians over 20 years ago. Now the goal of that war was not to protect civilians, Albanian or otherwise. It was to increase the military colonization of the Balkans and to project NATO as a protector of human rights around the world, just as today NATO claims to be the protector of what it calls the rules-based international system. In reality, NATO is a deeply destabilizing force in the world, an instrument of American hegemony and aggressive socially destructive politics which, for the sake of world peace and world decency, should be dissolved.